Hi, I'm Jalith from mrsmojo.co.uk which I set up to help you know it's good to be you. Now, I would like to tell you a story about how rubbish I've been in one aspect but how it can really help you. So, ages ago, like months and months ago, I had a really awesome conversation with a psychic medium who told me that I was here to help people, so doing what I'm doing, mainly children, but also the mums, parents as well, basically here to help people um, feel good about who they are, see their awesomeness, um, be confident, have self-belief, self-worth. So that is exactly what I was doing. And this psychic medium said to me, you've been thinking about running a course and she says, it's like you can achieve anything you put your mind to. It's that sort of course. And I went, yeah. I've written this down months ago that the tools I've learned about from psychology, spirituality, uh, mindset, yoga, diet, nutrition, fitness, everything I've studied in the past sort of 20 years um, and put into practice for me and my own self-esteem and self-worth, I've always said I believe you can achieve anything you put your mind to and I've written it down as a course and I sat on it and I have never done anything about it and it is in this notebook all of my notes on that course and I have never done anything and I've sat there this week thinking why am I not doing anything about this I am hearing every single day about kids struggling at school because the school system focuses only on stupid test results where they've had to just memorize facts and then that child is thinking I'm not good enough I'm not clever enough if they don't get that grade I've been there and I've done it. I've got really good grades, but my self-esteem suffered massively because of the pressure I put on myself, but also that was put on me from the school system, not my parents, the school system, to achieve. Okay, then as an adult, um, I, I went to, to university, got a degree, went back to university and I got a postgraduate diploma in bimedia journalism, because that was what I used to be, journalist. And then I went back again to study psychology. So I didn't sit the psychology exam because I had my child, my first baby boy then, but I literally studied the first two years of psychology degree. So had I sat that, I would have three degrees to my name and then I still felt rubbish and didn't know what to do. So for me, um, the tools that people need to feel better about who they are and what they can achieve have got nothing to do with the current education system. It's got to do with psychology and mindset in particular. So positive thinking, looking at the beliefs that you have about yourself and what you can achieve and who you are as a person and your purpose here. So all of this is basically what I'm going to put in the course called You Can Achieve Whatever You Put Your Mind To. So let me just run through the, the modules. So in week one it's probably going to be a six week course so in week one it's about it's the life coaching tools of setting goals action steps and milestones and rewards so it's a mindset but really focusing on what it is you want out of your life ensuring you that you can actually get it so that's week one week two is about mindset so it's the beliefs the thoughts your values what the rules you and, and criteria that you set yourself in order to get these things and feel a particular way now this when I do my coaching with women and children, the beliefs section is the biggie. It has people in tears, it has people getting really angry, it, it just releases a whole load of rubbish that you've been carrying for years and it sets you free to take action on what you want from now on. Um, then week three is going to be about self-care so that's where i'm putting in what i've learned about looking after your body what you eat um sleep which i am still not brilliant at but i'm gonna get a sleep expert is who in a, who is brilliant um and just basically that work-life balance because i've gone through phases in my life where i've achieved brilliant things but i have been absolutely knackered and ill at the end of it and that's not good for anybody because then you just back to square one you have to have the balance if you want to achieve great things and it starts with looking after yourself so that's why that's in as well then we are looking at emotions and feelings and the emotional scale and what you can do um, if you sort of hit a block or a stumbling block um, feeling stuck feeling emotional you're doubting yourself we're going to talk about what emotions are and why we have them 
we're going to talk about the fact that there's no real such thing as a negative emotion or a negative situation because they are all here to guide us and we're going to talk about what you can do to feel better in any given moment and I will give you the tools that I use but it's really about empowering you to work out what works for you as well so that's another week we're going to talk about your gifts and passions and how you find them so I've got a book from when I was about seven and in it for my schoolwork, I wrote that I loved English and I loved art and all I wanted to do was help people. Um, fast forward to my careers advisor interview at, I think I was sixth form, and I said, I love English and art and I just want to help people. And she said, well, if you just do English and art, you're probably only going to end up being an English teacher or an art teacher. My dad was an art teacher and I loved the thought of being an art teacher, but I did not want to go down the path where everybody thought I was just following in the footsteps of my dad. So I didn't do art. Um, kind of kind of regret it, but I'm kind of trusting that it, that was for a reason. So as a seven year old, I knew what I wanted to do. I knew that I wanted to help people with English and art and help people feel better about who they were um, using my skills in English and art. That's it. Career's advisor told me otherwise. So this is about you finding your own passions, not having any silly career's advice off somebody who doesn't know better, um, but finding out what used to make you tick as a child. What did you love? And working out how we can practically put those into place now. And then we delve deeper into mindset, but also spirituality and also the woo-woo stuff that I love that I know works, okay? So we're talking about affirmations, we're talking about the mirror technique, journaling, crystals, angel cards, candle magic, EFT, balancing of masculine and feminine energy and the power of gratitude Ooh, and moon cycles. I've just got into that. So moon cycles are a really good one as well. This is to help you tap into your own inspiration and your own intuition because you know yourself better than anybody. And whenever you're going to go through a stuck time or whenever you're going through a difficulty, it's important to listen to yourself and too many of us don't give ourselves the time to do that. So the angel cards, the crystals, all of these tools help you sit down and talk or actually talk to yourself in a way or listen to yourself, listen to your own inner being, your own inner voice, your own gut feeling that can help guide you to where you want to be. So that's what I'm going to be offering. Um, it is for I would say mainly women, but men can do it as well. And you don't have to be women of a certain age. Um, it would really help you if you've just sat exams and you're kind of thinking, what's next? It would really help you if you're a mum thinking, I've given up on my career, but the kids are about to go to school or nursery. What's next for me? Or it could just be for you if you're in your life and you just thinking, is this it? I thought I was going to be doing this or I thought I was going to have a better relationship or I just can't stop feeling down about who I am. This will really help. So you can achieve anything you put your mind to. I wholeheartedly believe that. And this is the course to help you realise that too. Okay, thanks for watching.